Scott, you were perfect. We are back talking it up new B radio. We'd like to thank Mike Scholler, Beer Mike, for joining us. And now we have uh, two more guests in the studio. We have uh, guys from Royalty Virtue uh, Record Label, but they're actually here to talk about another project that they got going on. I got Mr. Tijan. Tijan. And also Mr. Darrell Miller. Uh, welcome to the show. And what we're going to talk about is your new graphic novel. First of all, guys, how did you get started? What gave you the concept for the uh, graphic novel? A uh, hundred ideas <coughs> falling into place. I, I have no idea how to answer that question. <laughs> 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 small ideas, but just characters that we wanted to see come to life, and we had no problems accepting each other's ideas, and just kind of grew up from there. I'm actually wearing some of the, the gear for the, uh, for it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So has the novel been published yet? No, we're actually in the production stages right now. We actually just built a team to really okay. Okay. got to it real hard, but <laughs> now I'm not playing any more games. Finds out that um, the counselor is not just he ain't just a counselor. He actually more he's like a scientist under you know like he is, he a scientist and stuff like that. So these kids they kind of got that bad steel mentality. They take something from him, and then when they take it, they 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 whole life change. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when they life change and their body changes, they get these powers. So when they get these powers, they gotta learn how to deal with it, with right. the real world and things like that. Right. And their villain is actually a mayor. He's a black man. He's a mayor, and but he wants this power thing because he wants to. He wants to spread it to the world. He wants to get everybody this power. He wants. He he feels like this can cure everybody from what it had. What happens to him? So to his mind, he believes it's a good thing. But to them, it's like, no, we can't do that. Yeah, we can't let you do this because some people, it's chaotic and, you know, it might destroy the world. So it's just that balance and concept of it. So it's just uh, morals, basically, they deal with too as well. So it's just a little cool story we came up with. I don't want to tell you so much because I want people to read it. But So are you actually finished with the novel? We done stories. like The the first novel is completely (laughs) Okay. Um, The second and third one. We're actually the, the only problem we had is we we made a, a small misstep. We were so excited once we had our, our you know copyrights and all once we were done with the story and uh, we just kinda got a little too gun ho and maybe worked with the wrong individual. So we took we backpedaled and we formed what we now got a team got a team now that's that's working. Those that artists is so they they amazing people so they really they believe cool. in the vision. And we can all help each other out. So we all young, so we just want to help each other out. Like, how can we help them out and put that on their resume because they artists is and be part of So what are they doing for you? With each of them has their own gift. Okay. And they all individually do something. Like, we got an ink person, like a guy that does ink, that's going to do the ink work. And they like dominate, and, you okay. know. Like we got a guy named Joe who's actually going to do the sketch artist for the characters. Okay. We got a young lady just put on a team named Cherie Jones that's going to help out with the back, like the environments of the sketch artist. And we got a dude named Judd that Wilson actually introduced me. 
Jabro, Jaboris, who's actually going to put it all together, like in the story form, format. So we got everybody, like, it's like a um, factory. You know, everybody get a section and everybody know they part. Everybody right. don't right. have to feel so, oh my God, I got to do all these other things to it. Not, you know, that's so much on one artist. Exactly. So we got a team, everybody be comfortable with they, they parts and feel good about it. And they get put their names on the book too to say, I was a part of this this venture, this story, this this iconic new heroes that we had or a story. So it just make everybody feel good and everybody, you know, wins at the end of the day. Okay. Um, do you guys want to see this visual eventually? You, oh, you got yeah. A big oh, one. for sure. Uh, yeah. We're going at yeah. the Marvel in D.C. That's, what that, that, that's, that's our the, idea. That's like, you yeah. know, that's iconic, true. you know, Supermans and Spider-Mans, we want that ours to be as iconic and to say people from Indiana, Indianapolis, started something. Build something like that from, you know what I mean, have toys, book bags, all that. We already got plans. How long have you all been, been uh, working on this project? A uh, year? This like, is our second year now. Yeah. That, we, that we're really working on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, I think the hardest part over the, honestly, uh, the hard part for me, honestly, over the last two years is I actually went blind two years ago. Really? Yeah. So instead of uh, kind of going into a spiral, I started a company and started working on a graphic novel to keep that's good. Yeah, so that is really good. this it was it was hard to balance the writing to uh, to show that I really wanted to. I may not see the light, but I, I still think that I can share the light. Yeah. yeah. So we uh, Indianapolis, I believe, recently had a Comic Con mm -hmm. uh, conference here. Did, did you? Yeah, we went walk and <laughs> kind of. We actually were. What it, what we were actually sharing our uh, our flyers for an event that we had June third. We had a live we had live performances. We had a costume party. There was a face painting for kids, um, and essentially, uh, just for coming, we gave we gave away a hundred dollars to a random individual just for coming out. And where and where did this event take place? Uh, downtown, one twenty East Market Street. Okay. You got another one coming up anytime soon? We're planning one. Can you guys let um, some of the hosts from Newbie mm -hmm. participate? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we could definitely do that. Like we more like us being young entrepreneurs, we willing to team up with anybody. And you know, we've been knowing each other for a couple of years. You know what I'm right. saying? Knowing Wilson and you know, finally meeting you. So we always willing to team up and bring something, something. You know, what I want to say, creative, something new to the city, mm -hmm. and just to say, yeah, yeah unique that we can all win from, you know? That's and you about. know, you don't really find that many people here that are willing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit of anxiety to, I mean, because you gotta think, you guys started a radio station, and if somebody came into the fold that sullied that, that would break your heart. So we get kind of scared once it get, the bigger something gets, the more hands that touch it. We get kind of anxious, but it's it's uh, it's the feeling that we we we, we need to like <laughs> to achieve something when it when it does get that big. I think right. that's what we need to work on. Got a question for you? Uh, do you uh, in your characters? Do you have any of your personal experience, or is there any recognition of of you in any of the characters that you created? Oh, uh, for sure, both of us. Yeah, yeah for sure. Which I ones? I think um, all of them. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think, I think, I think when you write the story and you like making new characters, I think you always put a little bit of yourself in. It, you know what I mean to make it right. you make exactly. it stand out. You know what I mean? It's it's hard to tell somebody else's story, but you can it's tell not your even own. Just yourself. It's your favorite people. Too. Yeah, right. The, fa the people you come across, the people you enjoy the most. Yeah, you know. People you don't enjoy the most, <laughs> you can kill them off as a character. Right. <laughs> Uh, so what your your long term goals? You said you were going after Marvel and, and DC. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you guys planning on uh, at some point taking that to the big screen? Oh, oh for yes. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to do it's all a stepping stone. Yeah, like animations, uh, live action films. Like we want to like own our own production company. 
to where we can do our own films. You know, when you use somebody else from like LA or Hollywood, so they might water down our characters or don't give it justice. And if we do it some here in Indiana, Indianapolis or build our own like production company, we can finally say we have something, you know, that can compete with the LA Hollywoods or compete with the New Yorks or compete with any other city and say, we started ugly, but we can make something very beautiful at the end of the day, you know what I mean? And people, our young generation can see that and be like, I want to, you know, be inspired like them or some. I didn't know Indiana, Indianapolis had something like that, and now they will see, and then that would help others, companies, not just ours, it ain't just about us, it's about bringing that light to where we live so other people can, you know, get the fruit of the labor, and you know what I'm saying, like right. that, and, and feel great about where they from, and not feel like they got to go through drugs and guns and, you know, things like that to make some type of money and wealth and stuff, you know. And this, is on our, this is on our back. Like, yeah. I mean, we're self-publishing and getting the artwork done ourselves. We're paying individual artists for each piece. And, I mean, that's, that's just going to take a lot of hard work for us, but this is what we actually enjoy to do. And that's why we're showing. I think that's how, uh, who was that? Uh, Gates, Microsoft. He, had a, he just had a, a team of, got, uh, a team of his own, you know, close friends. And, and they just, you know, just sat around and put in the time. And Anything's possible, huh? For sure. I mean, I have a friend named Maverick Watts. He uh, he's paying his bills, most of his bills these days with his shoots. He's open oh, sorry. His shoots, they're 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 great. He does weddings. He does, you know, he he's, he does music videos, and he and half the time he's like, oh, you know what? I I just love adding to my portfolio, and half the time I just like being a part of the party. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sometimes we, we don't realize we have the, the tools at our fingertips, and we get, like I said, we get, we get anxiety. You just have to research stuff. That's how I did. Mm -hmm. You have to really yeah. research stuff. What are your ages, respectively? Uh, I'm 38. <laughs> I've never been, no. Uh, I actually, I, uh, June, June 13th, I turned 25. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. happy birthday. June 18th, I turned 26. Okay. <laughs> And the reason I, I, I asked that personal question is because I think you guys uh, ought to archive what you're doing because you guys can go on a serious lecture circuit among these schools mm -hmm. and show these uh, children that are up and coming and, and that these things can be accomplished. Mm -hmm. That it's just not a pipe dream mm -hmm. because you guys are actually uh, bringing into fruition uh, things that just come out of your head and all of a sudden, bam. And it's really hard to find people your age, well, people in general, that are so focused and so gung-ho about doing something. You know, it's just really hard to find these type of people here in Indianapolis. I, I like to look at it like everybody needs like a hero. You know what I'm saying? So now we can be that. You know what I mean? Like me, I used to look up, like I said, Batman and all these heroes. I'm like, why well, can't I be my own hero? Or why can't I be somebody else's hero? And not to say, you know, I got the best life or anything like that, but I can use my experiences, things I went through, to bring somebody else to make them feel good about they probably struggles or what they want to make something happen or career-wise. It's just about, you know, sharing. Sharing the gift. You know? I think I can summarize it for myself in one moment in my entire life. My, uh, my mom, she was the one who, like, let me see the, the, the movies that I shouldn't really be watching when I was <laughs> young. Yeah. So uh, I, she took me to see uh, Matrix. Yeah. And to me, Matrix, and that, like they had never really f done that kind of fighting style in America yet at this point. So the like the first 30 seconds of the film is that all these guys are in this building, and then this, this sleek chick gets out of this chair and she jumps up and she f she's floating. And she kicks this dude across the room, and my mom said, I looked at her with these eyes like, what is happening right now? <laughs> I want to give that moment to every little kid. Yeah. That's, that's what I want. Yeah. Now, do you, uh, do you still want to act? Because I know when I met you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be a screenwriter and an actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I she's going to be acting shortly in, a, in a, uh, a web series that we're going to be putting out. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we got some things we working on, but yeah, as I'm like 
writing, you know, films and things like that. I definitely want to dive into it. Like, I never acted before, but me being a hip hop artist and kind of doing the little thing, I, I believe I can give myself a try. You know what I'm saying? Just to see what I can do and test myself. But I would love to be. I, I told you I wanted to be in some. I might have to be in some of your films or be an extra or something. Just to see, you know, dad. Well, maybe we could do something together. Yeah. I think yes. I'm willing. Like I said, we could work as a team. It's sky's the limit. You know what I mean? So it's, it's whatever. Because yeah. <laughs> it's hard finding people that are genuine about this. Yeah. You know, one day they want to do it, the next day they don't want to do yeah. it. Um, they don't want to come to the location that you pick out. Right. You know, things like that. So it's like. Yeah, it, it is hard finding the right team and form of people with the right mindset and stuff like that. It, you really got to search. That's the only thing that you, that, that's the only process is building the team. Yeah, they really see that vision and other people understand, yeah, you might take some losses or you might take, you know, it's, stress, it's stressful as heck, you know what I mean? Not say it's all beauty or anything like that. Right. But you got to learn, this is what you really want to do. You got to be willing to do it. If you don't, it's not going to happen or it's not going to happen as fast as you, as you might want it to. Right. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to, to go for it. At any cost, you know. If some of your team is, is only pushing at fifty percent, and you got two guys <laughs> just gung ho for it, they're gonna, they're most likely gonna break off and find three more people that are a hundred percent. I mean, it's, it's just the best way to, to be. I mean, if you're if you're not focused, like you said, if you're not if you're not focused on it, it's gonna it's gonna dissolve. Right. It's a dream, but it it can be made. While you're making it reality, you just it's not even about the money either. It's just about no, it's, doing what you love. Exactly, because I really don't care. You know, everybody wants to make money, but I really don't care if I make money off of what I'm doing, right. as long as I can do it. Right. right. And a lot of people, they're all about the money. Yeah, they they want the quick success instead of the timing, and right. that's what it takes. They rather jump in and get that check instead of knowing. What, how did the entrepreneur or the CEO got there or the blood, set, the sweat and tears and right. the stress? Well, they don't want to take that risk. They don't want to take that chance. They don't want to know how that feels. Right. They just, I just want the money. But if you if you get behind it and understand <laughs> what that process is, you will have more value for it and you will love it more. Like us being partners and entrepreneurs, I even love the, the stressful times because I'm still doing what I love, even when I'm broke and don't have no money, but I, I still got my mind. Right. You can't take that from me. I could be broke, but if I could be creative and build with other people and find a way that we could all win, that's that's nothing, you know? Because exactly. I know, was it last week? We were talking about him. Yeah. I know, it's not good. Right. about your drive. Hey, criticism right. is out there. And there needs no. to be more people here in Indiana that are like Yeah, you know, we said we needed a uh, bunch more uh, Darrell Millers. For yeah. Sure. Uh, now, I want to... Uh, Take, make one comment though. Okay. Uh, you know, it's it's good to do things for the love of it, but you mean we want that money too. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That money too. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, the, the 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 good book says but the for the love will, of money. The money will come. Yeah. Though. The money will right. come. You got to yeah. get all this stuff together for I just want. Money yeah. I just want to have that as your man, like in that, your yeah, head the, the whole time, because it that hinders you from exactly. building something special. Like when you just focus on the money all the time, you be like you oh, try no, to think no, of no. like, wait, oh, this, this is what people like, or stuff right. like that. No, we don't, we don't no, one I mean, of the things oh, you, you right. have to keep in mind is uh, that there are a lot of people out there that have money that mm -hmm. are looking for people to deposit that money in, mm -hmm. and so you have to be anticipated, be prepared for someone to come along and 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 say, look at your vision, not just for yourself but how you want to reach out to others. Mm -hmm. And you'll have somebody who will want to come in and sponsor mm -hmm. what you're doing or uh, promote, you know, support right. and promote what right. you're doing. And and you have to be ready with, to say yes when that, you know, yeah, when that when opportunity comes. Oh, yeah. come. So, you know, you got you have have to have money in its, in its proper place right. Yeah, right. and be ready for it. Right. Yeah. Be, because there are some people out there who, who will definitely be into this, what you're doing, this, especially, when, you know, once you are, are become known within the, in the fields of the Comic Cons right. and, and that sort of thing. Uh, who, who has been your your biggest uh, uh, ally for, you, for, ally. for what you're doing? My my mentor, actually, Romeo Gearson, he actually, he uh, been teaching me from the ground up how to be my own entrepreneur. 
He's an excellent person. Oh yeah, my God. yeah. He came here, he didn't speak a lick of English, <laughs> and he is just taking off. Yeah. How did you meet him? It'd be crazy though. I was, I'm a model sometimes, so I I was Craigslisting and like I found what he was doing downtown at 120 Market Street. He used to have a thing called Cobra X. That's what he used to have. Um, I went down there, had a meeting with him, talked about I wanted to model for him, and we just sat down and talked. But I, I wanted to show that I want to be more than that, and that I might, I, I don't have everything, I might not be the most talented, good looking man, or whatever like that, but I could prove to somebody my worth. So I just kept coming down to his office every time, like even when I didn't dress right or whatever, because I wanted to learn the business, because nobody else taught me how to do business or anything like that. Even school never taught me. So if I could be around somebody that actually doing it, then I can learn way more, even when I dropped out of college. So while I was around him, around him, he loved my passion. He loved. He was like, "Man, are you over here every single day, or blah blah blah." I think I'm getting on his nerves. But <laughs> he he's like, "All right, I'm gonna tell you how to do this, do that. You're gonna get your own LLC. You're gonna start your own business. You're gonna dress right, appropriately. You're gonna do all this, and I can see this in you. You can become something. Nobody really saw that in me. You know what I mean? Or told me that. Most people tell me to get a job or do right. this, you know what I mean? And that wasn't for me, like, because I didn't care about that. I didn't care about nine to five. I, I, it wasn't my heart passion. Art was. Yeah. And when I met him, he just brought that out of me. And me and people like Denise Hill and other entrepreneurs, I just knew this is what is for me because I'm reading it. Me and all the right people at the right time, TJ, we've been knowing each other since high school, but we just finally started, you know, working with each other two, like a year or two years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, this is. This is for me, regardless the struggle parts of it. This is who I am. What has been the uh, biz biggest adjustment you've had to make uh, in terms of this commitment? Mm -hmm. the biggest adjustment that I've had to make. Um, I'm not always right. I think that's the like that's the best. I think that's the best part about the, the relationship is that like I get an understanding that um, I can't be wrong because. When I first, when I first started, when we first started writing it, I was thinking to myself like, yeah, let's throw it to one of these publishing mills or something like that. And I didn't know that they gut your story or you know like change all your characters because we have a, a large spectrum of characters from all kinds of cultures. And I didn't know that just throwing it to the just anybody could get you so gutted like that. I was just so trusting. <laughs> you know, I was just like, uh, well, I, this is an amazing story. You would want this to be seen, so. But some people are selfish. So, I mean, I, I guess having Darrell to kind of like stop me and make me see like, uh, don't move so quickly all the time. Like, we gotta process this from top to bottom. I think that was the best part, the best adjustment. Well, it's good to, to go self-publish because there's a lot of people that are doing that now because you go, so if you self-publish, then you have things done the way you want them done, mm -hmm. not the way someone else wants them. And if it's your work, you don't want someone tearing apart your work. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I say. I admire you for that because of your books and what you do, your own self-publishing. That's inspired me too, like to, for us to have our own self thing so nobody can come in and rearrange the right. things we want, like you said, like take our creative juice and our things and turn it to a whole completely different thing. You'd be like, what? No, that's not what I did this for. Exactly. You know what I mean? It turned into a whole different thing. You've seen it happen time and time again. So I'd rather us that own our stuff, whether we make millions or not, I'd rather us to own that, just somebody come in and change everything just, just for the and masses. And it's not yours anymore. Right, you know what I'm saying? Not what you brought, put the love in, and the love right. won't be in it. It'll right. just be quick cash king or something like that, it, the heart won't be in it. Right. And I, I'm not for that when it comes to like art or what we put our heart on work into and stuff like that. So can you tell us, um, tell the listeners out there, what's coming up for you guys next? What's on the agenda? Next coming up for us, we have a radio station with the craziest idea I think I've ever heard of coming up. Uh, that's what we really want to work really hard on uh, just because the best, the best way for us to constantly be out there and constantly talking to you guys about what we're working on would just be having our own outlet. Are you talking about like a podcast or something like that? Mm -mm. Not even just that. Uh, I have a podcast uh, that I'm working on, actually. Uh, I want to interview people like you, and but do it in your favorite restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I pay for the meal, pay for the, the time.
time. I was actually just talking about my guy Maverick for that reason, is because uh, I want to be doing this as soon as possible. But places like um, uh, what's it? It's on the east side. That occasional place. Uh, oh, you talking? Is it by the fairgrounds? No, no, no. It's uh, uh, Papa Root. Does oh. that? Okay. I'm actually trying to interview there. Okay. Okay. There. Uh, yeah, Pi Five. Also, there was a their uh, general manager. I mm -hmm. think is uh, wanting to be interviewed as well. And then I just want to just get us out there as much as possible. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. But I feel like the more people that we're in contact with, the more our names will spread. Right. And I, the more I can get him out there, and the more I can get myself out there. Mm -hmm. Well, I that's think that good. video is really. Yeah. 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 You in it? Yeah. So you would. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, it's it's coming along, and that's what the. Um, is going to be about more the radio station is I love to help people so I want to use my platform to help so what it's going to be is the radio station that will give artists a chance to be not only be heard but also comment uh, to other fans maybe somebody globally and they can like talk like they hear their music or listener can hear that they hear their song and might want to say, hey, I love your music, blah, 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 and might can follow them on Facebook, fan page, or Twitter, but you get to actually talk to them, and the artists have an account where they can talk to them, that person and build that fan base, and also other artists be able to collab. Maybe they heard somebody that's doing reggae music, and I'm like, I never heard this person before. Let me, you know, try to collab and talk to this person through this station and this platform, so it's like a connection. And it's it just shows for people love. Artists. Just, for, just yeah. for all the people who don't really get heard or yeah. know how to take We just want an from. outlet for, for the people who actually just don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't know, I don't know where a, a studio is that I can constantly make music or right. I don't know. Right. I don't constantly have access to promote myself. Or I don't well, know let's where do, to Let's do that for you. You know, like, wow. we'll do that for you. Uh, I mean, I made the company Infinite Era essentially to, as an artistic I just want to help anybody. If you have a goal, you have an objective, I just want to help you as well. That's nice. Yeah. So, I so mean, can you tell the listeners how they can contact you guys? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you can follow us on Camp by Nature on Facebook and Twitter. But you want, like, solo businesses, uh, he got Infinite Era, Facebook, like his fan page, and then Twitter. Then you got My Royalty Virtue, the Facebook, Twitter. We got actually websites going to be. Uh, building up soon, so it's gonna be coming along with my artists and other team and stuff like that. So you can be able to follow me. But <laughs> as far as uh, stuff for Camp Out Nature, yeah. uh, we're gonna start posting like the website and uh, where you can purchase. Because we actually are trying to sell these shirts okay. as well, and we have uh, we have posters that we're selling with uh, uh, yeah. all all of our heroes on it mm -hmm. for okay. the first couple uh, sizes. I think a good idea would be handing out some of those t-shirts at the radio station for promotion purposes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, we like this. Oh, yeah, you are, yeah, he's already on it, he jumped yeah. on it, yeah. And hey, when I see, when I recognize driving people, especially, uh, the, the, you guys got similar drives to what I got, except y'all got the youth on y'all side as well. Hey, man, you don't have so to worry about the youth, man. You can do something at any age, you can't yeah, let this that change. Exactly. That's yeah, this is true. Y'all, hey, that's where I'm hard at, no you question. Know, uh, it ain't over till they shove the dirt in your face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like to take the time to really thank all of y'all for allowing us to come on this show, and for me to personally know y'all, you know, especially y'all too, and you, Wilson, for helping my artist Alicia get, you know, better with music. I, I think we need to appreciate everybody that helps us. So that's what we want to do. And you, Denise, for allowing us to come on the show and just knowing you for the past two or three years and seeing you develop too and now to have your radio station doing movies and books and all that. That's inspirational, not only to us, but young women, you know, black women or anybody want to make some of this. So I think y'all... All three of y'all had that gift to, you know, give more out to other people and teach them how they can have their own and be a part of a nice team and to build. I think what y'all doing is special and need to be heard way more and 
be appreciated more. So. Well, we got some things coming up, yeah, so, yeah. you know. Okay, we can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and just remember us when we see you in <laughs> we said we know you. Yeah. <laughs> we we gonna lie. say that about y'all too. We gonna, we gonna be the Grammys and the Emmys and the Oscars together. <laughs> I, I want to say though that Jarrell is gonna be like on um, featured in the magazine. Me and Oh yeah. yeah, I didn't know you wanted to say anything about yes. that, but I'm very excited for that. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Uh, the so women of Indy yeah. and Wilson Murkison and myself and some others will be featured in the Mia Life magazine. It's gonna be an online magazine that I'm um, coming up with. Can we buy physically? Can yes. We buy? Ooh, yes. I'm at the bottom one. I yes. definitely have to download something. So tell me, who who created this this image on your Facebook page? Uh, the guy name is uh, Tonyus. He we had to let him go. Like this well, didn't yeah. happen right, but he has good work though. But it just didn't work out. But that's why we formed the team. But yeah, he the work oh. right there. So. I was I hope y'all love the new style and the way we're gonna do these characters and just the story of it. I think y'all really love it. If y'all love like the superhero mixed with realistic, you know, vibes and stuff like that. So. We, I think the best part about our, our story in general is just uh, a lot of people, you know, we've seen you know, Marvel and DC. Oh, you got you got bit by something. There's an alien creature. Uh, there's a serum that we made. There's a there's so many different things. It's all about the spice that we put to it, mm -hmm. and we got so much originality, and I think that's, yeah. what, that's yeah. really what's going to make it love, started out. I think yeah. you might love the villains, too, because they're not just villains to be villains. They're you real know, people. They're actually real people. You see why they want what they want. Yeah, you see you see they, they morals or they standpoint or certain things and what, you know, makes them go that route and why the heroes go the route they do. And, you, and you, like I said, you might love each person or something like that and you got like different people that you choose from to love and you just want to focus on one person or anything like that. You know I, I heard terminology one time uh, that after describes what you're talking about one man's freedom fighter is another man's rebel. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it just, it just depends on the perspective that you look at it. Mm -hmm. um, you know what perspective you're coming from yeah. and, you know, on what side of the ball you're on. Yeah. So I, I get that yeah. uh, for sure. I love to use the like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, without, you know what I mean? Like they own the same, they want the same thing, yeah. but coming from two, two different mindsets exactly. of it, you know. That's like how they did with X Men. It's like two different mm -hmm. scenarios, or they want the same goal, but it's how you want it to be done. You know? I like I like our main villain uh, to start with, especially just because he's very. How don't you understand that powers for everyone? Yeah. Like he just he just his mind works as everyone deserves this. Everyone deserves yeah. to feel great. Yeah. Everyone deserves. And then I mean, it, when you when you're hearing him talk, you're like, okay, well, uh, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. But then it, then you, you get the grand aspect of it, like if this touches everyone, like because nobody here, not everybody sees not every, what you yeah, think, you know. Yeah, not like everybody it. feels like everyone deserves to feel great. You don't know Grandpa can't have the keys. <laughs> well, we want to thank you guys for dropping by. Thank you guys for listening. Really enjoyed um, chatting with you guys, and maybe we can do this again. Um, but I just want to wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah, you young guys are awesome. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to a break now. And. Uh, We'll be back shortly on uh, Newbie Radio, talking it up. Great interview. Great, 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 great interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.